Hi everyone, it's Patty. Today I want to answer some of your questions. Stay tuned! Alright, so I've got my laptop here with the screenshots. So, Satanic Snowflake wants to know Is it possible to get a cheap hurdy gurdy? The cheapest I've found is for like a thousand dollars. Of course, there are a lot of cheap hurdy gurdies. Uh, especially right now because there's a new thing coming up it's a hurdy-gurdy you set up by yourself I get links to those gurdies every day for people asking me if this is a good beginner instrument there's a lot I could talk about concerning those kinds of gurdies but of course it's obvious you cannot compare a 80 bucks or 200 bucks hurdy-gurdy with a 3,000 bucks, Gertie. That's something completely different. So if you really want to start playing and become a good player, of course it makes no sense to buy a cheap instrument. If you want to be a good player, you need an instrument that suits your needs. I guess I could make a whole video about my thoughts and opinion about new hurdy-gurdy invention thing. If you are interested in my opinion about this, then uh, please put that in the comments so I know and I will make a video for it. But of course you cannot compare it to a handmade instrument from a professional maker. And for all the people that always keep an eye on eBay and things like that to buy second-hand instruments, be careful. I know a few people that got Gerties off of eBay and were super sad about how they turned out. And they all got better Gerties by now because they realized that the cheap ones really weren't the kinds of objects they wanted to get. And maybe think about if you really want the instrument and if you're ready to give up so much time for it. Because for learning a new instrument you will always need a lot of time. So I would recommend you really think about what do I need? Am I already a musician that can quickly learn a new instrument? because you already know so much music theory from your other instruments or are you a complete beginner and you really just want to try it out or your goal is to just play two little folk tunes it's really your decision but always remember good quality costs a bit more but it is absolutely worth it and to be honest there's people having such huge TVs and expensive cars. Learning an instrument is so much better than watching TV. Set your priorities. If you don't want to spend money, don't be surprised if the instrument that you get only works for two weeks or just sometimes stops working. Clockwork Elves says, the hurdy-gurdy seems like an overpriced pain in the ass. Well, I guess we just discussed this, right? But let me tell you, I personally do not feel any pain in my ass for buying a more expensive instrument. Does that answer your question? <laughs> okay, the next question is from Johnny and he's wondering how long did it take me to learn the Gertie? Well, since I played a lot of instruments before I started playing the Gertie, it was a bit more easy for me, I guess, than for other people to find out how exactly the gurdy works. And when I got the first gurdy, it took me like two weeks of practicing two hours a day to play melodies and nearly manage the coupe de quatre, which is the rhythm pattern of four beats per wheel. So I guess that's pretty fast. Well, in the end it doesn't matter how long it took me to play the instrument because that does not say anything about how long it will take you to play it. But again, it's super important that you have a well-functioning, good quality gurdy. Well, the best quality that you can get, really. And you really start loving your gurdy and kind of become one with it. Also, if you're interested in knowing more about my music career, then please put that in the comments as well so I know that you're interested in it and I could make another video just about when I started making music and what kind of instruments I play. Is that interesting to you? Oh, there we have a very interesting comment. Mr. Floppy Pancakes. What? 
Mr. Floppy Pancakes says that she needs a tan. I haven't seen something so white since I made myself a fluff sandwich. Does that count as racist already? <laughs> or body shaming? <laughs> Okay, I do agree with you. I am a pretty pale person. Since my childhood, the people always came to me asking like, Are you okay? You look so pale. Are you sick? <laughs> now I'm always like, no. <laughs> right now it's summer and I think that I even got a tan. Behind me there is a white wall. So there is a difference between my skin color and the wall, right? Let's move on to the next question. <laughs> Some of you also seem to be interested in how far is my album? Concerning the songwriting, I'm kind of halfway through. I will play a few songs with the band. I already have a few songs that I'm super happy with and I'm sure you will be too once you hear them and I really can't wait to share them. <laughs> and I have so many ideas for music videos and ah, so much happening that you can't see. <laughs> also a very important thing is since so many people ask me to come to their country and perform, if you want me to come to your country or to your city, please ask local festivals or locations that they are going to book me. It's going to be very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> also, another important thing is my Patreon page, because Patreon is, for me, like the only way to save up for my album, for the production, for the mixing, mastering, for the printing, for the artworks. The more people that help me on, on Patreon per video I'm releasing, the less time we're going to need for a special crowdfunding project later and the sooner you will get your CD. <laughs> also, you get some like behind the scenes content and everything. Just check it out and maybe there's something interesting for you as well. By the way, in these two videos, you will get some more information about my instrument. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.